of part three. In the previous video, we used the Fourier series to make waves, waves that we want to use to cover Paris, but square waves alone, well, that just won't quite get the job done. Diagonals, however, might. Can the Fourier series give us these line segments? Can these guys? What tools will we need? Well, there is lots of integrating of trig functions, of course, recognizing odd and even functions that makes our life easier. We'll need switches to turn our terms on and off like we saw in the last video. But what is this integration by parts? It's this, the product rule, backwards. This is a lot, so let's work through an example, the kind that we'll see over and over again. The integral from 0 to 2 L of X times negative N pi X over L, and then there's that convenient term afterwards after that. So can you integrate that? Well, not in one step. That's why we need integration by parts. Let us define U as X. Let us define V as cosine N pi X over L. And that means that DU and DV, they are, well, they are what they are. And if that doesn't seem like much help so far, well, it's because we're just getting started. You see what integration by parts does? It makes our difficult integral into something else, into U dot V evaluated from A to B, less a new, hopefully a more solvable integral. And yes, it is solvable, woot, but it is also tricky. And yeah, this new integral spits out a term, in this case an L over N pi term. And yeah, we will need to be careful about our positive and negative N terms. Sometimes they act funny. But still, it's a tool we can use to find Fourier series, to find A naught, A N, and B N terms for functions that are less blocky and more diagonally. Ready, set, A naught must be zero. Average height of the function is zero, one down. A n, well, this function is still odd, so A n is zero. B n is where we'll have to earn our keep this time. Hey, look, a chance to use integration by parts, and we keep on moving. Yeah, there's a lot there, and we're moving, though, all the way to the end, and lo and behold, it's another one of those things where the cosine of pi or the cosine of 3 pi or the cosine of 5 pi gives us a negative L, but an even N gives us zero, and we can handle that like that, and our spreadsheets can handle it too. A, L, X, all good stuff. Bn part 1, Bn part 2, don't forget the sine n pi x over l term, everything we need from term 1 and term 2, which is technically n equals 3, together, plus n equals 5, together, it's a sawtooth wave. And if I can make it with sine functions, this guy can animate it with epicycles, just like we saw him do for the square wave in the last video. Very nice. And here's another function to do our Fourier series for, a triangle wave. It's a little bit less sharp than the sawtooth wave, but it's similar to a naught first is one half the amplitude. Yep, the average height of the function. Skip to bn next because bn is zero. Our function is even. an is where we'll earn our keep this time. Hey, look, integration by parts. Again, a little bit different this time. And when it's all plugged in and done, we have another situation where the function goes to zero for even n, which, again, we can handle like this, and we can graph like that together, and that together. Triangle wave, as promised. Different from the sawtooth wave, but definitely cousins. And I was thinking of doing this wave next, but hey, you know, it's basically just the sawtooth. Here's the solution if you're curious. And then I was thinking of doing this wave, a lot of marching triangles, a series of marching triangles, or a row of shark fins. But turns out that this is much more difficult. A reminder to me that some of these classic examples, and yeah, we're doing these classic examples, so they are purposefully easy and they can hide deeper, maybe more interesting questions. The answer to this one is in the next video. Teaser. And besides, it doesn't let us control enough like this one does. 
it lets us control. We can scale k from 0 to L. Function defined. Let's go. A naught. Acquired. Average height of the function. Bn. 0 again. An. Trouble. All right, this is a big one. So big that we'll break it into An part 1 and An part 2. An part 1 is relatively simple. An part 2 needs integration by parts, which we can do. But gosh, putting them together, double gosh. Now i got to admit, that An term is pretty impressive. Too impressive, too long. It's going to get smaller, going to get smaller. That's how. See, those two terms, they cancel out. Oh, we're saved. A1 and A2, they help save us, and it gets a lot smaller, so small that we can even fit it into our Fourier series, a new equation, a new equation to fit into our spreadsheet. A, L, K, look, we have a K. We can control this function with a K value. X, I recognize that, N equals 1, 2, 3, etc. A naught, A naught, that shows up right there. Then we have A N part 1, A N part 2, put it together, summed up. Summed up for multiple, we'll go to n equals 5, multiple n values, and graphed. Triangle wave. Again, it's the triangle wave. That's what you get when k equals l, don't you know? Then narrower, 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 and super narrow. Is there a problem here? What's happening to our magnitude? I wanted our magnitude to be 20. Is there a problem here? What's going on? Well, sorry, guy. It's hard to get cosines to give you what you're asking for here. You're asking for all these cosines to come together to give you just an isolated peak. Sorry. But it's a reminder of what, what are we doing and what are we doing here? We have an army of waves. It's pretty impressive. An army of waves coming together in just the right way that they cancel out pretty much everywhere except where they don't. So they almost cancel out almost everywhere and we can control it either a square wave or a triangle wave. All right, we've been going quick, but extra quick now for the last one, a curve, a parabola. Let's go. A naught acquired. Average height of the function is one-third A. Well, I guess it must be. Fun fact, BN on a losing streak. Sorry, buddy. AN, a bit tough. Integration by parts, a little bit different. Notice U and DU are a little different there. We're halfway down and stuck. No, integration by parts again. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I bet if it was x cubed, we'd just do that integration thing again. Woot! Fourier solved. Fourier graphed, which is awesome. It's just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. No, not Paris in a cosine wave. It's what we wanted. It's the opposite of what we had before. We had, we started in video one, we started at the very beginning with sine x as a power series expansion. And now we have powers in terms of sines and cosines. Inverse transformation functions. Big ones. See, they're inverse functions because all the x's are either here, inside the trig functions, acting like angles somehow, if that's possible, or they're here, outside, being magnitude-type things. Can we really... Go from one to the other?